I was just thinking about how incredibly privileged I am to have parents that actually cared about me. And I was thinking about like how much of a privilege that actually is. It's such a such a messed up thing to think about because I was thinking about why is it that I have, and I know this is like so self-centered, like why is it that I feel adjusted? There's lots of days, many days. I'm very open about it. I don't feel adjusted every single day. Um, but I think I have, I think, I think I have a healthy balance between self-doubt, um, you know, feeling good about myself, um, days where I don't feel good about myself. I have all these kind of things. And I think, yeah, biology plays a, plays a role in terms of what my makeup is. But then I lived in a family where the default was that they, they loved me. And there was no explanation. It was very much an unconditional love. I very much felt that an unconditional love, no matter what happened, everybody was okay with what you did. And I think about how big of an advantage that actually was. There was no, like, if you were successful in this area, then I'm going to love you that more. If I am... Uh, you know, if I screwed up one day, it's it's a restart the next day, and and we tackle the world together. I'm not saying there was a lot of fighting. There was a lot of um, a lot of crap that happened in my family. Tons of crap. Um, you know, my sister was murdered. My oldest sister was murdered, and. I think about how, but here's the thing, right? Um, and I'm not diminishing any of that. Here's the thing, the default. And my, you know, my parents were very fearful of the world after that. Um, that's, and that's, that's who they are now. Just very fearful of the world. My, my mom is very fearful. Um, but here's the thing, the default was not venom. The default was not, you know, I don't like you. The default was, I love you, but I'm scared of the world. And that, that logic is so different than a lot of people. And I think, you know, it was, it, 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 uh, Obviously, there are some innate things you know, my and my dad, my dad never gave me any acknowledgement. And man, it still hurts today. It still kind of makes me if you were to ask me, I'd, I'd probably tear up. Um, but, you know, he wasn't like you did a good job or anything like that. But here's the thing. He's a very quiet person, extremely quiet person. He would be the person that would be taking a photo. And I was thinking about that the other day. Like if you, if you, something happened that, that was good, maybe you got, like I got a lot of just participation ribbons. I wasn't first place, third place, even I was last, dead last at my elementary school and everything. But he was the person that was taking a photo. So even though he struggled, you know, my, my parents struggled with how to, how to do this, just like everybody else. Um, and, you know, they were afraid to, to ask for help, like just a lot of normal stuff. The default was love. And I think about how fortunate it is that they didn't go in the opposite direction um, because of all the crap that happened to them along the way. And lots of crap happened. Um, you know, that 
they I knew that no matter if I screwed up royally, um, that they would be there. Um, I just think about like how lucky, privileged I was. They weren't, my dad would, you know, every Christmas and Easter, he would have a few drinks, um, too many. And that was it. He would never drink a lot. He would have one beer, exactly one beer a day after work. That was it. Um, he's a very regular kind of person. Maybe he was on, you know, some sort of spectrum or something like that. I don't know. But I just think about how privileged I was to have an upbringing like that. And I don't want to diminish, I don't want other people to feel bad, right? If you didn't have an experience like this where the default was love. But I hope that you can, there's one thing that we're, we're all, you know, to some degree, all kids, but we all grow up. And at some point you decide what you want to do. That's part of being an adult where you decide you have control about your life and you might have had a crappy life. Um, there might have been all sorts of things that happened to you. People treated you poorly. That stuff is real. But not nice people exist in this world. Many not nice people exist in this world. That's very real. But you choose how you're going to handle the rest of your life. And you choose to work on that. Whatever it might be, you decide to get up and say, I'm going to work on this today. I know that this didn't work out for me growing up. I didn't, I, I know that, I mean, I was a lonely, lonely kid in high school. I had very few friends for two or three years. Um, I found a group of finally, and I deeply appreciate them. They're really great, great kids. But for the most part, I didn't have a lot of that. And so yeah, a lot of what I I have today is driven by by some of those things. But I choose to address them. I choose to tackle it. And I know that that might be a privilege too where I can actually think like that and I can remove myself from the situation and think about myself in the third person and think about how I might help myself. But I just want to tell you that you choose to create the default of love. It's a different way of approaching life. This is something that I have really thought about and come around to. I know that the world is nasty. I know that you 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 know you often have to do things or power all this i am absolutely well aware of that i work in a business school i'm extremely aware of all of that stuff but you choose your default and my default will always be love and i'm going to make a concerted effort to do more of that to the best of my ability Take care and have a wonderful day.